The world of smartphones is going to look very different this year. And I know it because I was at the Mobile World Congress, possibly the world's largest tech event, which took place in Barcelona last week. Well, I'm not much of a tech geek, but everything I saw was so fascinating and amusing, more so because I knew we would be using these gadgets in the near future. Well, these were the phones that you can hold, wear, or even throw on someone you're not too fond of. Well, 5G was definitely the overused, somewhat hyped buzzword uh, throughout the Congress, and some very interesting deals and agreements were signed between top companies in the region, including STC, Etisalat, Ericsson, and the likes, for its implementation and deployment. Well, head over to our website or YouTube channel if you want to know more about that. Quickly, here are some of the launches and innovations by the major mobile phone and tech companies that I found to be groundbreaking. Huawei Huawei's Mate X foldable phone was a definite hit at the MWC this year. 8-inch screen folds without a gap and a triple camera system integrated into a grip on the side, it looks quite amazing and has gotten great reviews so far. Samsung so Samsung Fold, as is quite popular by now, was also the talk of the town. There are obviously certain spec differences, but as a layman, one of the main differences between Samsung Fold and Huawei Mate X is that the former had a screen on the inside and Huawei had it wrapped around the outside. LG so I didn't really get to touch or feel any of the foldable phones that I just spoke about. They were all locked away in a glass box and we were only allowed to look at it from afar. Yes, I wasn't very happy about that either. But LG launched the completely ready LG V50 with dual screen that we could actually hold, feel and use. It is 5G equipped and is perfect for mobile gamers. So it's basically a folio case with a second OLED screen. So if you're using, say, uh, one screen to check your inbox, the other can be used for the keyboard. Nokia. Gone are the days of just dual camera phones. Nokia's 9 PureView phone has five separate 12 megapixel cameras. I'm gonna leave it at that. Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft was at MWC this year and so was CEO Satya Nadella. And no, they didn't launch any new phones, but they did unveil something really cool, the HoloLens. So what they're trying to say is VR is old news. We're talking AR now. With Microsoft's HoloLens 2, users have a virtual display photoing their vision, such as a map, an instruction or data, which is actually coming on their screen. Basically, things we were used to seeing in sci-fi movies, just that it's not fiction anymore.